HTML. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. All right, so let's go. <coughs> when I say dynamic, dynamic is not ticking. That's what I mean. Dynamic is not like uh, making the content dynamic. Okay, fine. So, and this is the wrong way. But still, we don't have any option. Uh, I'll tell you this in Ajax. This can be done in Ajax, or this can be done using set interval. You guys know about set interval? Yeah, come on, guys. Who have attended JavaScript class? What is set interval? I need answer in five minutes. So here you go. Localhost, blogger. Okay, <coughs> blogger, and we have postblog.php. So let's just style this uh, particular thing. Uh, it looks like a, a bit ugly. Nice, you know, you know, you know, lots of thing. Great. So here I'll say mm, <coughs> form. Okay, form background hash e. -E. Okay. Uh, then we have input. So I can style like this if you guys know about this. Okay, only text, only text fields. Okay, <coughs> we'll be having this. Let's give a width, a width of uh, let's say 70%. Okay, then input uh, type equal to submit. Okay, let this have a background. Hash, uh, let's say zero four zero, maybe zero four zero, and let the color be white. So for those people who don't know what is HTML and CSS, go back to the previous classes or wait for another ten days. We are starting a new batch on completely focused on HTML, CSS first. Okay, then JavaScript, jQuery, and PHP, MySQL. Okay, so. Don't worry if you have any problems in picking up this. We are gonna start a new batch. Uh, register it. Only 10 students can be in that class. So just make sure you reserve your seat. Yeah, jQuery. We we done it. Come on, Abdul, go there. There is a search bar. Okay, there is a search bar in Tutor's Live. Search for jQuery. You find all the documents over there. Okay, just do that for today. See. Uh, if you want anything in detail, let's say I don't say it's an overview or it's a detailed one There is something over there which is important if you want it in detail. Yeah, I can do that Okay, so yeah, let's jump back here and I say border width Zero pixel. Let's see if anything happened here Yeah, something's happening over here Oops so let me do this the form forms would be let's say 50 percent nice then shall i join yeah you can i said you right people from the first batch will have a privilege use it use it to the maximum so yeah just doing good then we have text area let's say comma text area let's see what text area to do okay nice nice and clean and uh, submit button let the submit button has a height this makes it better okay good and let it have a width a width of let's say 50 percent okay nice and let it have a padding of 10 pixels oops something's happening so maybe this is minimum height good and then uh, let's do this <clears throat> margin 10 pixel yeah we can use bootstrap who said 
we can use it i'm just showing you i mean this can be done using bootstrap it's your job to use bootstrap because if i use bootstrap then there's no meaning it so i'm just telling see this this is how you can do styling this is how you know am i am i doing it fast you guys can you guys cannot figure it out right if you yeah i'm i'm happy if not yeah then i'm happy to because some day you will be doing like this yes am i right some day you will be doing this yeah exactly that's what i want from you guys so yeah we're almost there we're almost there be patient so 20 pixel this might help us so let's see yeah this is a beautiful farm right there uh, we have a farm so now let's do some pdo okay so what is pdo so tomorrow you go for interviews i'll say you know that the person may ask like you know hey just do some database operations show him that you can do pdo pdo is an added advantage See, uh, a one year php developer okay even he cannot do pdo so do pdo in a way how i tell you guys okay i'm gonna repeat every step slowly and you have to follow the same thing again trust me it's only practice this file download it delete it or make a copy it delete it and try everything afresh everything fresh don't look any piece of code try it try it try it try it try it, until you get the same kind of output whatever i'm doing now okay that's the only way you can practice trust me that's the only way you can practice so right here uh where is our file so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take all the styling all the styles i've taken all the styles and let's put it in a folder so what is the folder where i put my styles yes guys come on what is that folder where i put my files styles folder css yeah fantastic that's that sounds good so i'll say every time remember that okay people name them like crazy don't name them like crazy give meaningful names so my website is called blogger okay so i name it as blogger.css it's your choice i'm not forcing you guys to name it in that way but yeah if you follow some standards tomorrow you may leave the company some other guy may take your place and you should not abuse you saying hey uh, sagar you what kind of code did you write dude i cannot understand anything he won't say like that he will say something else okay so don't end up like that okay <clears throat> fine so how do you include this any ideas guys how to include them how do you include an external style sheet yeah blogger.css what is the rel that's it yeah great link nice is it working it's working okay nice so here uh, our form action is add blog.php okay here we come add blog.php i'm going to remove everything so let's start right from fresh okay so as soon as it comes here okay so remember these steps anytime anytime follow these steps so the first thing you're supposed to do is like did it when i submitted did it did it post the right values or not so for that uh, do we have functions right we have functions right here great so what i do is as soon as i get it okay i'll say show dollar underscore post to see if i'm getting the right kind of values or not dollar underscore post oops something happened i'm gonna close this 
I'll open it again. Was there? Oops. What? What's happening? Okay. Let's see. So let's check it out. I say add blog. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 I got it. So what's the mistake over there? Ah, there was something. It's it's throwing up some error. It says show array is undefined function. Why? Because because of this. Okay, let me name this as again instead of function, I say block functions. Okay, so I'll rename this as block functions. Okay, so block functions is the name of it. <clears throat> so let's see now what it does. So I say add block. I click on it. Or something's happening over there. So yeah, it got submitted. Okay. Now if I try to access this directly, okay, it should not show this. So whenever you are trying to access it, even before posting the values, okay, it should redirect. So what I do is if is set off is set off dollar underscore post of submit then only process the form that means show the values else else what it what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to else just refresh it or sorry redirect it redirect is this function redirect it to where post underscore blog dot php okay now let's try the same now i try to do this okay there's something wrong again. <clears throat> is set dollar score post. So submit. <clears throat> submit is right. Is set header. Header is right. Okay because the values are already posted so now let, me, let us do this Oops. what's really happening here let me just check it is there any problem there <coughs> oh. oh thanks man yeah thank you so yeah thank you so it, it takes me here so now uh, you know I just say hey uh, this is a blog about my daily activities okay so I'll just take some lorem epsom Just remember follow these steps it may take time but still uh, follow these steps for good programming you should not never miss anything so that's that's a whole point so I'll copy this I paste it here I'll submit now yeah this has some information here okay this has some information here so since it's a pre uh, it's going out until the border okay so yeah now the information coming is right so now here I have to process the values so we already have we already have this block functions already have it has instantiated here now we have to send one more parameter here one more parameter the other day Taufik was asking about exceptions so to see ex exceptions so what's happening with PDO is like PDO's default mode of throwing ex exceptions is silent so it does not throw any exceptions so to see those exceptions 
okay this is this is the function which tells so this function has two attributes the first attribute is what kind of error mode you want so attr so it is pdo attr underscore error mode comma pdo uh, <coughs> sorry error mode underscore exception so this tells like okay if you have exceptions please show them okay that's one more thing we are uh, you know we are supposed to add if not this okay you can even directly add it here but you should add it as an array okay so what you're supposed to do is here I'll say dollar options equal to array here we're supposed to give it like this pdvo <coughs> attr underscore error mode pdvo error mode underscore exception or else you have to give it like this you have to pass it as an array okay <coughs> so now since this is done now let's start inserting values how you are supposed to say this is the first statement of any PDO try and catch okay in catch the parameter is PDO exception dollar ex and the message should be echo dollar ex get message right and here inside try now everything goes here so every time you are supposed to write a query okay even before query if it's insert let's say we need the values right so how we are getting the values let's check we are getting the values in title and description so what I do here is dollar title first I gotta get the title post of title and the description <coughs> equal to dollar underscore post description oops capital D now I have the values so all I need to do is write a query insert into blog underscore post values okay insert into blog underscore post values so only two values to be inserted title description sorry this should be here I'm sorry and the values so you have to bind them how to bind them okay you can use like this or you can use like this it's up to your your choice you know I, I usually prefer the caps because caps make them look like commanding so small letters always look like they are depressing and caps look like commanding for me okay again my my opinion not like anybody so then the next thing is you have to prepare the query remember you have to prepare the query so you are supposed to say dollar db prepare so when you prepare the query you will get a handler handler is nothing but it's a pointer okay you know just it 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 gives back a database pointer to say okay uh, you know this query has this pointer so do that job then the next thing is the handler should be executed the handler should be executed how you are binding them here you have to release them here so array okay array title first release title so where is our title our title is in our dollar title then the next is description description dollar description okay now you have executed it 
what happens when you execute is if it's inserted or not will be told okay for insert delete and update you will always okay this will always this will always return the number of rows affected okay for insert query sorry for select query select query okay it this will always return number of records or rows extracted okay and insert query will return the last inserted id so you inserted right you will be generated with an id so this will return the last inserted id okay remember these three points always so now since it's an insert query we'll be getting the number of rows affected if suppose no row is affected if nothing is inserted we'll get an error here an exception we'll see okay or <clears throat> you can say since we need inserted id inserted id will be dollar handler last insert id so this will give the last insert id <coughs> okay let's see if it is giving it or not okay so the the, the things to be done here first you have to write your query if you have to bind bind it if no no need of it then prepare the query how do you prepare you query you prepare it using the db db variable you prepare the query after you prepare the query you execute it using the handler you execute it using the handler and you have to release the binded values so i'm i'm just explaining you it's not like releasing it's not like preparing or executing whatever but i'm making you understand in a way that okay follow these steps like you have to close your eyes and you can definitely you know you have to do it like that so that's the reason i'm explaining in that terms okay when i say bind that's the reason i'm telling you release because bind is something related to tying you up then release so here you execute it oh there's a mistake here execute release the binded values then insert will always give me the last inserted id so here i'll say i'll okay uh, inserted with id <coughs> okay so let let us go to the go back to the database here localhost php my admin <coughs> so this is it what i do is what is that query to delete to reset the table yes what is that table query to reset the table come on ankush taufik abdul might be knowing this and who else we have here in the class i don't know uh, we're all in the class okay sumalata so what is that query to reset truncate table name great fantastic nice so ankush you are not answering man you busy today you have an exam tomorrow so truncate blog underscore post now everything is zero <coughs> okay everything is zero <coughs> and now let's see uh, here I go back okay and let us do one more thing here okay just one last thing uh, what I want to do is I don't want to add a style sheet or anything again and again so what i do here is i'll take this off okay and i'll put it inside what is that what do i call this 
what do I call this yes guys I'm separating the top part and what should I call it header great index.php is different we'll see we'll see what exactly index.php does in a while okay so I save this as includes oops I save this as header.php okay then what else we have <coughs> we have this part Okay, we have that part and let me just remove this and this and yeah let this be and I paste it here and I call this as footer.php so in every file okay in every file what am I supposed to do include okay the top include let's first add our uh, functions okay we may use them we may not but let's add functions block functions dot php okay then the next statement should be why I'm writing it at the top block functions because I told you already we'll be using sessions and ob underscore start in that block functions so that that will be the first statement okay includes header dot php and at the bottom includes footer dot php <coughs> yes we can name we can name why did I name it because I'll make it dynamic it will be dynamic tomorrow that's the reason I'm making it that that way actually the reason why I'm making it HTML file because I'll make it dynamic tomorrow you see you know sometimes you see login when you log in login goes out and becomes logout you know how it's because of PHP so we'll be doing the same thing here So <clears throat> this is footer.php. Okay, so everything is set, everything is good. Let's see what happens now. So that is done. So let's submit this. Let's submit this blog and see. So I click submit. So last insert ID. Okay, uh, I, I I got one one wrong here. So this is not handler. Uh, handler does not return insert it's DB that returns <clears throat> so it got inserted now actually let's see so I click on blog post it got inserted see this it got inserted now let's try to reinsert I think we have made this title unique uh, the last class we made that title unique and so let me go here come back here and I'll try to insert it again so let's see what happens what it shows it's it says pdu exception with message okay so this is a message that is throwing exception <clears throat> what it says this is blog about my daily activities for key title duplicate entry okay it has thrown a duplicate entry error it's unique so this is how the exception is done so it does not insert anything now since it's an error you, you can see it only yeah this much now what I do let me write another blog here okay I'll start writing another blog I'll say <clears throat> my uh, food habits for a good health okay so let's take some good health something I want to make some relevant article Oh, what is this? It's a band. 
how to be healthy 25 steps with pictures okay so many people you know wiki how this is a very good website too i like this wiki how so let's start off easy drink water whatever blah 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 so let's go back here and i paste it okay and i'll say add block so insert your id insert it with id 3 okay so let's see okay what happened to two? maybe the duplicate entry uh, it tried to insert but had triggered the primary key uh, most probably it looks like this reason so now as soon as i insert something i don't want to show this message instead it has to show okay it has to show the num the blocks in a beautiful manner okay so i'm gonna show how our blocks look like actually so i'm gonna stop the screen share here and increase the time uh, let's increase the time here to another half an hour so you guys have any problems any commitments is it okay if you go extra half yeah so 